could have several roles to play. First, of course, government have a um, could be a big user, okay, okay, um, and 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 I know that um, um, government is also encouraging different government departments, you know, to uh, look into uh, the uh, usage of uh, RFID. As I said, not we don't just look at RFID just as a chip, you know, you can still use the RFID track and trace that combines with other technologies. And I see this is a very realistic uh, way of doing it. So government as a user, definitely, you know, they could set a role model. Um, uh, the other part is um, because um, RFID um, at this moment is still in its early infancy, okay? Uh, I would encourage the government to provide not just in, I mean the government has already provide is already providing funding on the R and D. But my recommendation is um, because the, the whole technology is still in its infancy, um, and we need more role model um, to share with the industry. I would encourage the government to um, to provide technology adoption fund. That is um, so that you know the the end users. You know after all the uh, R and D. The users would be able to utilize the results, but with the assistance uh, of this kind of uh, funding from the government. And of course, in terms of um, the uh, the policy level, um, I think the government, the, this particular the Hong Kong government, um, you know, in the very beginning has done a very good job. You know, in terms of the um, the frequency, um, um, you know, otherwise Hong Kong wouldn't be able to uh, kickstart. In, uh, in its early days. So the Hong Kong government, in terms of the support of the global standards, in terms of the frequency, that part is uh, doing very well. But if we could have, uh, and also, I think they also try to um, promote, you know, uh, the awareness of RFID. Um, for example, the government has been uh, very supportive, and, uh, you know, um, we, have a, uh, we have a collaborative project with uh, the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, or, um, to set up the Hong Kong RFID Center, and the government has been providing some funding, and um, they would like to make use of the uh, Hong Kong RFID Center as a uh, demonstration um, to promote to the industry, but not only to the industry, it's also to engage um, this, this poten the potential of this technology to the, um, to the uh, youngsters. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, the center people, um, works with different um, schools, you know, or universities to bring them to the center so that they can, you know, see it by themselves. Um, for example, how the airport baggage uh, tagging project works, you know, how the sushi bar works. Uh, although this is demo, but it will trigger, um, you know, um, youngsters' creativity of uh, um, of how technology could be used in the day-to-day -day life. So, it's a uh, um, but I, I would encourage that, you know, apart from this uh, uh, marketing, you know, apart from government being also the role model, if the government could also consider, you know, providing technology adoption fund on an ongoing basis, mm -hmm. that would certainly um, uh, get better results of the, all the R&D work because it will have continuity to the user community uh, that they, uh, they, you know, that that they could benefit. I, I think in terms of challenges, uh, everyone still talk about costs, you know, at the end of the day, barcode is part of the packaging, so basically it costs nothing. Um, RFID, although the cost has uh, come down significantly, you know, from three years ago, $45 to now maybe uh, slightly over a dollar, okay, Hong Kong, I mean, um, still, you know, it's, it's a cost, especially if you want to um, use it on every item. Not on the case. I think on the case level, the cost is well justified. On the item level, you really need to uh, you you need to consideration. But on the other hand, apart from the cost, you know, which everyone said, you know, it's still the cost, it's still the cost. But I think the um, the the use case, you know, the understanding of the use case is still uh, insufficient. As I said, you know, um, some of the food safety issue, you know. Um, coaching or the anti-counterfeit uh, just happened um, very, very recently in the past six months or so. It needs a lot of uh, promotion and marketing before people realize that, um, you know, it, it, this is um, to, to share all these kind of uh, uh, use cases. So um, 
And, and this is the reason why, you know, uh, GS1 Hong Kong, every year we organize this uh, RFID awards. Uh, one of the key objectives is to, to, to encourage people to bring all these uh, use cases um, so that we can share. I mean, I could give you a uh, booklet because uh, every year, apart from, you know, uh, putting up the award, we also publish the, uh, the award case studies. Uh, and this is a way of uh, educating the industry. Thank you.